Hey, welcome back to another video, Hugh Beans. Today, I'm going to give you my interpretation on how to tame a shadow main with 100% effectiveness. So, hear me out. First of all, you need to get fish in baskets. So, step one is fish in baskets. I'm going to show you two ways how to do that. But before we get into that, I just want to say make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to become a Hugh Bean, and uh, check out the Patreon if you want to support the channel. Really appreciate you all. Let's get into this. So, fish baskets you can learn pretty early on. A fish basket could be obtained at level 13 and it costs fungal wood. Where you can get fungal wood from the other side, so not Eden side, over on Rockwell side. You can get fungal wood pretty easily, fiber and thatch. Now what you want to do is collect fish. Now you need big fish. I think it's 1.5 times an up will give you the best percentage team. So two methods for this. The first one is you get piranhas that chase after you. So what happens is you place down your little baskets. So if you put them here really put like two or three baskets here like so then you go into water where you know there's some piranhas there we go piranha coming after me and what you do is you let them piranhas bite you now i am in creative mode for testing purposes uh, basically you let the piranhas bite you, you go up to this and you can see trapped piranha oh it, yeah, okay it's eating it there we go filled, face, filled basket so you get a piranha in the basket now the idea is which i wasn't shown very well there is that you need to stand in front of the baskets so when the piranha is coming at you, the best thing to do is to stand in front of the basket. There we go, a couple more piranhas. So we're going to let them nibble at us. When they get close, pick up a piranha. Pick up another piranha. There we go, you have two piranhas. So that's one of the easy methods. So you let the fish come to you. Now if you want to go for a more passive one, so you don't want to have piranhas coming after you, and you want to catch normal fish, you could put a basket down, but there's a timer before you can trap something. So we took that basket, as you can see, you can't actually grab a fish yet. So now that fish has swam off. That may be an issue for you. So what you want to do is put down a few baskets in a line will probably be fair enough. And then you want to chuck down some honey. Now if you put honey in a slot, so for example, we're putting honey into our last inventory slot and then you're in the water and you press that inventory slot item, you'll chuck the honey on the floor. Now that honey will attract fish from afar. And you can see you've got some coming from over there. Uh, maybe this one's coming. Anything else coming? I don't think so. I don't think there's enough fish around. But as you can see, as this guy gets closer and they start to eat it, you can pick it up. Bam. And then you got yourself a fish. That's another method. You can see there's a big guy coming from the distance there. As long as that freaking bird doesn't eat it, we should be able to trap it. So you just stand by this. You wait until it says pick up fish. There we go. Trap, trap the fish. You'll just see the text change. And there you go. You got another one. So that one's at eight times. Like I said, you want 1.5 and above, I believe, to get a good tame. At the moment, we're just getting crappy ones. Uh, so that's pretty much the basis on how to trap fish easily. Now, if you want a little bit better, as you see, there's quite a few fish around here. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. We'll put down a couple of traps because we are going to need quite a few to trap one of these guys, depending on the level and your server settings. So I'm just going to fill this area with some baskets. Okay, you can trap tri tribulite, so please bugger off, mate. We don't want you. Okay, we're going to chuck down that honey, and let's see all the fish come in and start trapping them. Dude, one of them ate it already. Crazy. So it is, the idea is if you have it in the middle, you, they shouldn't be trapped. Okay, we should be able to get this guy. Trap that guy. You want to try and basically stop them getting to it. Bringing a lot of honey would be a real great idea. Okay, so we've got that guy coming. Oh, we've got another guy coming from there. So if we... Trap that one, and then quickly trap that one. There we go, we got two more. Great. So we get, we got like one or two on average per time. Let's repeat this method until you've got over like 10, 10 to 15. So at the moment we've got quite a few, but I want another, I want to get the last six filled up. So we're just going to keep chucking some honey down to lure the fish in. There's a lot of fish in this area, and this should be good. Basically, you just want to keep an eye on where stuff's coming from. Okay, so once you've got all your fish, as you can see, we've got a nice inventory full of fish, all different sizes. You want to be aiming for them times 1s to 1.5s mainly. The higher and the closer to 1.5, the better the taming effectiveness. Um, obviously, sometimes you can't control that. So we're going to go now over to the Rockwell side, and uh, let's see if we can find ourselves a Shadow Main. Okay, so you can only tame Shadow Mains in the day. Now, I know there's one close here. As you can see, there's one just down there. What you want to make sure you do is that you clear out the area before trying to tame one. What I mean by that is you get rid of all the tames, all the creatures in this area, because it's going to go after them. It's going to get distracted and it's going to be a pain. So if you can get it in an area where there's no creatures around or you killed a lot of the creatures, 
that would be great. And for your first one, I'd recommend trying to get one that's on their own. What you're going to want to do is, first of all, is put on a ghillie suit. This will just help increase the chance of it not seeing you. As well as drag one of your fish into your hot bar. Now, as you can see, fish de uh, spoiled. So you want to make sure you do this pretty quick after getting the fish. Uh, so it's up to be hard. And this is what you want to do. When they go into sleep mode, you have a short amount of time to get behind it. Now, you don't want to stay standing the whole time. What you want to do is you want to crouch as soon as you get pretty close to it. So I'm going to say about now. And you want to approach it from the back end of it. So it's back and it's butt. That's where you want to be now. If this guy wakes up when you're close to it, you're dead. Uh, and you want to get away. Oh boy, here we go. See, so he got up. We're going to back away slowly. We're going to stay crouched. So we stay crouched and we're just going to back away slowly. This guy won't see you unless you run. <laughs> so... As you can see, we got away quite easy there. We're basically going to wait for this guy to sit and lie down again. You can tell by the animation. We're going to stay a little bit closer this time so we can get to a bit quicker. There we go. So it's going down. And again, you want to approach from the other side. So we're going to run. We're quite far away from it right now, so it's fine. But we're going to run. And then we're going to crouch again and approach it from the back side. You do not want to approach this guy from the front. Now, we've got the fish, the fish in our last inventory slot. I'm going to go into first person mode for this. We're going to basically sneak up. Do not touch it. Do not hit it. Do nothing. Just sneak up. Feed it. And back away slowly. So it goes invisible. Just back away. Don't run. Don't stand up. Just back away. Right now, he's looking for you. And you want to get away from him without standing up. So when you think that you're at a good enough dif distance from it, you won't know this. You can open up your inventory and go to the uh, tame and you can go and track that tame. As you can see, he's over there. So you can stand up. Feel feel good. You can stand up. You want If you're about 50 meters away from them, you can stand up. As you can see, he's came out of being invisible now, which is good. And he's going back into sleep. It becomes a lot easier now. You've got this. So you want to get behind it. Okay, so you're behind it. We're going to crouch at about 25 meters. Make sure you restock your guy. So we're going to restock with a fish. I'm going to just sneak up behind it and give it a fish again. Again, as soon as you've done that, back away. Stay crouched and back away. You've got your giddy suit. It shouldn't see you. You can see it, though. <laughs> it's a little bit scary, this. Okay, so you see it bouncing around. It's looking for you. This is why you want to kill creatures in the area because this guy will just run around looking. Just stay crouched. I mean, if you need to, if you feel a little bit nervous, once you're about 50 odd meters away, you can run. Obviously, we're not 50 odd meters. So around right about now we are. But I'm going to start making my way back because I know that he will probably be of juice himself in a second. Let's put in one of the big fish, the 1.2 fish. Okay, he's got back up. That means he's going to go back to sleep now. And lucky for us, he has got his back turned to us. So we're, again, with his back, we're going to take that off for a sec. You want to make sure that you're not coming in straight from the back. It's more like the butt end. So you want to be at the back, but at the butt. And you're going to make your way in like this. We're at the back and the butt. We're crouched. I'm going to put this back on so when we get there, we can feed it. Oh, we got up. Okay, just back up. Back up. That was unlucky. Oh, and it saw me. So you're dead, bro. This happens. It's, it's all over. Just pray. Pray that the Lord will see you. What I'm going to do right now is just... Now, you would have lost a bit of taming effectiveness from that. Uh, just a little. Just a smidge. And as you can see there, we spooked it, so our taming effectiveness went back to zero. Now, if you wake them, your taming effectiveness goes to zero. So, we're back to square one. <laughs> uh, you're back at square one. I mean, it happens. So, you basically, all you got to do is start again. With half a ghillie suit. As you can see, because we woke it up, it's got to flee. But, I mean, it's not too bad. It's stuck anyway. What happened there was, if you're wondering, why did I get caught there? It's because when I fed it, or when it woke up, I didn't feed it, obviously. So, I didn't get enough time to back away, and I was too close. So, you really got to be quick, but you also want to be careful. There we go. So, we're going to just feed it again. Back it away slowly. This time, because it does the stretch when you feed it, you got time to run back. And then, as you can see, we're away from it. It's running the opposite way. So let's just chuck that back in. And this time we will feed it. We've got like another 1.2, which gives a much higher effectiveness, as you can see. 
like team in percentage. So the effectiveness should be still pretty high. Yeah, 99%, which is, yeah, pretty high. But the bigger the fish, the less fish it takes. Okay, it has crouched. I don't know if we're going to get there in time. You don't want to wake it. So about 50, you want to slow it down. And about 30, you want to crouch. And you want to come in. Now, it depends how comfortable you're feeling. I don't feel very comfortable. I'm hoping this will tame it, though. If we get there in time... There we go. And we tamed it. So we had 1.2, so it only took 2, as other ones took 3. Now this guy's tamed, and it's all yours. I'm not going to go over abilities in this one, because you, you should know the abilities. And I made a video on it already. But that is how you tame a Shadow Main with 100% effectiveness. And uh, I even showed you my fail situation, so how to recover from a fail. So there you go. That is the Shadow Main. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like button, subscribe to become a human being, and I'll see you in the next one.